Hello, fellow humanoids. <laughs> um, I just wanted to talk about for a minute the fear that's going on around the planet about this virus. Um, there's nothing we can do when we're freaking out and running around buying toilet paper off of the shelves in the stores and everyone taking all the food and stuff. Um, the only thing that we can do is like love each other, love ourselves, and know that everything is going to get better because guess what it does, what us humans do. We always find a way, right? We have so far. <laughs> And the only thing stopping us from that is the fear. So I have some examples or I don't know, suggestions on how to limit your fear and um, how to just remain calm in this sort of situation and just sort of get back to the root of what we are as humans, which is love. <laughs> so what I do when I start to panic, and I used to have really bad anxiety, that's beside the point, but Normally I'd freak out about this, but I've gotten better with these, um, these exercises. Um, what I do when I'm freaking out is I think about my thoughts, okay? I let the thoughts come and I breathe while I'm doing that. And I go, okay, sat, nam, I make a mantra. And then as the mantra is being repeated as I breathe so I can calm myself down, other thoughts will come in my mind, obviously, like, if I was scared of the virus, I'd be like, oh my gosh, what about this virus, what's it going to do to us, you know, um, but normally, you know, just let that thought pass through, and let your next thought come in as you focus on the mantra, you just keep focusing on the mantra when you breathe, you go, in, okay, sat, nam, or whatever phrase you decide to come up with, like, it could be I, ball, I don't know, whatever you think, you know, could, like, you could focus on. And during that time, as you're breathing, you're going to naturally calm down because your fight or flight, which is going on right now because of the panic that the news people and, you know, that's what they're dealing with. The news people are kind of nervous about this. That's why everyone is, you know, it's being broadcasted is because they're worried. And normally, what do we broadcast on the news? Things that we're worried about. What do people on social media broadcast? Things that they're worried about. And I'm not going to say we should change the way we are on the internet because we've been being this way, complaining about this stuff, a lot of us, for a long time. About things that bother us, we just spew it into the world like on the internet. And that's just as bad as saying it out loud to somebody right in front of you. It's not very positive. It's not going to get you very far in life if you keep, you know, talking about things that are bothering you. Um, but if you talk about things that you can do, which is breathe and focus on love and loving yourself, you won't need and feel the need to go on the internet to find validation of what's going on on our planet. Instead, we'll just create it. We'll just create the love we want, which is why we're all bottled up in our houses right now, because we're scared to communicate with each other because we haven't been, because we've been so into our technology lately. And that being said, that is why everyone's so scared about, you know, the corona whatever virus I don't even like to say it because it's just a virus and so are we as humans and people didn't realize that until this happened and now that it has happened everyone's just sort of doesn't know what to do with themselves because they're like oh shoot this is our fault you know and they have to realize that we're gonna have to be the ones to fix it and if we don't fix it and the only way to fix it is to start focusing on our love and the reasons why we want to live here on this planet um, if we focus on that, then we'll actually thrive, finally, instead of just merely survive, you know what I mean? Getting by on a little bit of money everywhere we go, <laughs> not having to be, have time to enjoy the good things in life, like family, music, like outdoors, nature, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> we got to get back to our roots, and I feel like this is going to help, like this scare, that's what I'm calling it, I'm saying that Mother Earth is warning us lovingly. It was a loving warning that this coronavirus has been, and we're lucky that a lot of us are still here and okay, but in order to keep ourselves safe from getting this virus, we need to remain happy and positive no matter what the circumstances. I mean, thinking it could be worse, like what if the whole world exploded just out of nowhere because some like other planet collided into us, you know? We don't know everything, guys. 
Um, and all I'm saying is that if we want to continue living, we need to start focusing on love and positivity and things that we can do to nurture ourselves so that way we will have more respect for planet Earth and planet Earth will take care of us because uh, the way it's been so far it hasn't been taking care of us because we've been not taking care of it or you know ourselves because it's natural to want to go outside and be around the animals and stuff but the technology we have and the work we do and like everything it distracts us from what really matters and it's really just you know it's become very just intolerable for planet earth and that's why this virus popped up it's because we are so blind to it well we're blind to it now it's finally come to the light that we are the power that we seek it isn't money it isn't instant fulfillment you know it's not have being on our phones all the time it's out there it's that world out there that is going to be here for us when we don't know what to do with ourselves because look the sun's still coming up you know the weather's still the same it's like the only thing that's changed is our perspective on what we need to do in order to keep it the way that it is and in order to keep it the way that you know or at least make it better because it's not good right now and that's why this is happening so what we can do to keep like uh to make things better i would say is start by loving ourselves and loving the ones around us because once we start doing that we can work together to come up with a better way of living and of fixing the problem here on our earth which is that we aren't even we know the problem you know but that's the part that's hard for some of us to understand is that it's as simple as throwing away your trash like you know taking care of yourself with like mother earth you know doing your part going outside spending time there like connecting with what we are honestly we've been inhabiting this planet and it was here before we were plants were here before we were and here we are thinking we're so high and mighty like you know we can kill animals to eat them because it tastes good like cows aren't here for us to eat cows are here to live cow life okay and the way we've been producing them so much to be able to be sold in stores and for us, you know, that's for the companies. They want the money. They don't care if you like the way cow tastes. They just want the money from you eating it. And so get that kind of thing through your head. Chickens too, anything, like really, like any animal that is not... We only had to eat them when we were surviving back in the ages when we needed to, you know, and that was for primal needs. Nowadays, they hire people to go work at pig farms and slaughterhouses, and I've seen them. They're not fun they're not cool they're not cute it's not happy like it's honestly just like if we were to put a bunch of people in a room and just lock them all in there and then slaughter them up it's so just terrible seeing that have to be happen to animals like we just can't a lot of us can't think about that because we think of the bigger picture like you know only people think about money they want what can i do with the most money and it's like nothing you can't do nothing with a lot of money if we're all dead so everyone needs to like wake up and realize that loving ourselves and respecting the other animals just as much as you would love yourself that is the way to cure this virus <laughs> which is us the only way to cure us is to start looking at our own flaws and the things that make us you know want to go out and get money what are we missing in our lives that is making us feel that we need money in order to survive and to me that is connection like what do you do when you're sad and you feel like alone you think well hmm well if I had some money I could go here and do this well no really the money that you have is this thing your heart there's a reason why they say your heart is gold you have a heart of gold it's because that's where the real truth and the real spirit in the world lies is in our hearts and so we don't need to seek money for this we don't need anything besides what we have right here as long as we have a beating heart air to breathe eyes to see a mouth to taste ears to hear we're okay <laughs> you know we just need to use that and remember that and that you know those are always there for you at any time um, and just come back to that when you're scared about what's going on around the world and then remember that this is um, 
a planet we're living on, okay? We need to take care of it. It's like our home is Earth. It's not like, you know, we create things for Earth to make it better, and now that's what we need to start doing and remembering. That way we can start making more farms and stuff like that, and that way we won't need to go to the grocery store, and we won't have to fear that, oh, the store is out of apples, so now I can't eat fruit, you know, because we'll be able to, like, go outside and eat our own fruit and whatever else it is that we, you know, need. But we need to start, honestly, considering here in America where we are that there are other things to eat besides animals. There's plants, you know what I mean? There's stuff that actually was here for that purpose, and we've created these, um, manufactured things in order to, uh, who works at the manufacturing companies? People. Why do the people work there? For money. <laughs> what good does that money do them if we're all dead though? And if the factories are the reason why we're dying and why there's like viruses coming about and stuff because we're neglecting our health, right? So really what health is, is our mind, our emotional health, our physical well-being, and <laughs> that's all we need to remember and we need to get that into our focus again and stop thinking about there's enough money in the world okay we don't need to get any more earn any more people are working and the reason why we've stopped working is because right now we don't need that purpose and that's not what our purpose is in life there are other ways to get by money can be shared okay just like uh people share the products that they sell in stores and the distributors share it with each other we need to start doing that at a ground level with the money if we want to continue on using money and if we want to continue on living life the way we have minus, you know, cutting back a little bit on the things that we've done because leave the animals alone. Like, they don't mess with us, you know, like, honestly. And if they do, that's because you're on their land too. We've gotten to the point where we don't need to protect ourselves from the animals, so why are we eating them? It's like, if I had to protect myself from a human, what would I do? Would I go and eat it? No. I would avoid it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, there's a reason why this is all happening, and it's because we need to remember that we're the ones, humans, us humans, we need to get our shit together, together. <laughs> and in order to do that, we need to forget about why, you know, what we're eating, and forget about wanting to eat things that we don't need to, there's oats and things like that that we have. You know what I'm saying? There's all this other stuff that we have and there's so much of it and we have enough here that we could share it with other countries and we don't because we are so caught up in that greed game of making money, making money, making money. And we need to let go of that because our money is right here in our heart. And if we don't have our heart, we have no money, we have no motivation. So start living, thinking your thoughts Remembering that you are the love. You can create oh, the love wow. in your heart. And yeah, that's, I'm out with this one. But remember, it's up to you of how you decide to use this panic. Uh, it's not a panic. It's honestly what you make it. And I haven't been talking about this, but since I've been talking about it, I've gotten even more anxiety about it. But I'm going to call myself down when I'm done talking about it because I'm going to start breathing and doing things I enjoy. Like writing in my journal, things that I just enjoy, you know, and that's what we should all be doing instead of focusing on working and stressing about not having money, because honestly, things will work out as they should, as if, you know, our society is built on what we believe it to be, which we trust, and we do trust, <laughs> that's the thing, we need to all trust each other and, you know, just relax for a little bit and slow down, because we've been going at a rate like this for so long that I'm surprised we haven't just turned the planet so fast that it's you know, exploded or something. Uh, I'm not gonna win. But anyway, I hope you all have a lovely day and try to remain positive during this time. Of course, it's not a matter of trying once you practice these things because it will just be in your brain. Anyway, uh, namaste. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's keep this planet alive. <laughs>